It is day seven of the Rugby World Cup with the first week of the competition already passing us by with a whole heap of history being made in the process. Today's matchup we have coming out of Pool B which will see the Italians quickly backing up to take on the Canadians who are yet to get underway and we're looking to do so with the best possible start. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the match of the day for the Rugby World Cup day number seven. The Italians are in action against Canada where we have two teams trying to take part in the big battle of who will finish third in this pool. Two big guns in the top seat unlikely to be beaten but the battle for third is well and truly alive and today takes another step to deciding who will take those spots. It'll be the Italians who will be the favourites to go into this one and they've got to keep their heads high because we all know what happened yesterday in Pool D. They won't want that to happen to themselves. So they've come out here and they've named a few changes to their side, but a strong team nonetheless to take on these Canadians. Like we saw in their opening match versus Namibia, there was one man who stood above all in the key role for this Italian side, and that is number 10, Tommaso Allen. He's got dangerous players outside, and we've got to look out for guys like Mikel Campagnaro, Giulio Bissigny on the left wing, and of course, Tommaso Bibinuti out there on the right. Jaden Haywood in number 12 is one who can create and make opportunities, but he needs a big game from his big boys up front as well. And this is where this game will ultimately be decided. It's the age-old cliche for the Italians and the Canadians don't boast the greatest pack in world rugby. So a big effort from those boys is going to be needed. And of course, captain Dean Bud will be lining up in that second row. There's no Sergio Pizzi today. So it's a big day for guys like Lovato, Biggie and Ferrari in that front row. Can they stand up to the Canadians? And will they lead Italy to win number two? Up against them will be Canada. Now, this Canadian side has had a 2019 so far they would want to forget. Falling behind in their big rivalry with the rampaging USA, they've struggled to keep speed with the ever-increasing Americans, and this World Cup is a chance for them to get back onto that world stage. Of course, we know about the ability to go on this back line. DTH fandom over us on the left wing, Jeff Hefler on the right. Those two are going to be key if the Canadians are going to score any tries. But again, it is the pack that I'll look forward to to see what they can manage. Most of the pressure here is going to fall on number eight, Tyler Ardron. This guy is a star in Super Rugby, playing for the Chiefs in New Zealand. He knows how to get to that next level. Now he's got to drag the rest of these players alongside him as well. Alongside him in the back row will be Lucas Rumble and Mike Shepard. Big pressure falls on them to follow the lead of Ardron at the back. And of course, in the front row, Herbert Bidens, a guy who's certainly played at the top level as well. Eric Howard and Matt Tierney at the tight end side of the front row. Big pressure on this pack to perform. Can they stand up to the Italians? We find out over the next 80 minutes as these two sides look ready to do a battle here in Pool B of the Rugby World Cup. So it'll be Canada to kick this game underway. They'll be playing, of course, in the red. And it will be the Italians in the blue. We are ready to go. And it's day seven of the Rugby World Cup in Canada. Kick the game underway through Peter Nelson. And it goes deep down to Campagnaro, who drags in the first use of the ball. The turnover. What a start here for Canada. Into midfield it goes. Let's say it's from the corner on the left hand side. Couldn't get the pass away to Van der Merwe. He'll pick and go though. Back in the inside. Tyranny goes wide. And in they go with Larson. Charging Boys. just to the left hand side of the uprights. Great opportunity here for Canada straight away. Keys. Connor Keys. He'll score. Canada. Try already. Four minutes of the board. Five points to boot. The Italians have not had a chance. What an explosive start from Canada here. Turned over very, very quickly from their number nine, Gordon McCrory. That was the first phase of the play. And then it exploded. Canada straight out of the blocks. And eventually the try to Connor Keys. It was a pick and go from the big second rower. And he really just toyed with them as well over the line. They didn't shut him down anywhere near the line. And he just trots over. Big start for Canada. Well, there's no need for a forward battle when you get some free ball and some shoddy defence like that from the Italians. 
Here's the shot of goal from Peter Nelson, and it is a beauty as well. Easy kick just to the right hand side, and he makes a count at 7 0. Canada over Italy, and this is the start that the Minnow side, the tier two side, the underdog, would have wanted to see. Tommaso Allen first touch the ball is kicking off at 7 0 down. Not the start he would have wanted at all. Here come Canada again, though, and it's Ernie again has a bit of a go, but he's just put it to touch. So a chance now for the Italians, speaking of that, who have been really shut out to this game in the opening eight minutes. Could launch something to the front, they go, and CC fires it down, and they use the back line, and Campagnaro, the big ball way out there, 10 side to Vesigny. He tries to step inside, but Hassler, it's all over him pretty quickly. They recycle the Italians. Midway 10 minutes 22, and it's a little run too from Brady to start it all off before shooting it into the midfield and Dean Budd, who is there, just rumbles it forward and takes a tackle. Brayley again, a high tackle. Mistake. Oh, and it could be a card as well. This could be catastrophic for Canada. What a start they've had, but the yellow card has gone the way. And Turney is gone. Ten minutes in the bin. That is a killer blow. And the Italians quickly opt to go straight to the corner. And Tommaso Allen puts it pinpoint right in there. Could have put it any better if he wanted. Now Minosi was standing by his side and he is really keen on getting a taste of this ball. Line out to the front and it's taken down again easily from David Cece. They pick and go, straight to midfield. Allen goes back to left hand side. Dean Budd gets it eventually back where it all began. And five metres short to the right this time. And going through the Agri, through the back line. And that starts to camp back, Naro. All alone, however, and the blue jerseys are slow and getting in support. It's there for Bradley again, who goes alone, and again he's put down, and the Canadians pile on in. They need a try here to Italy. Stain, well, there's the numbers, overlap game, and a try surely for the Italians, though. No. Ferrari has put a touch and goal. What a tackle there from Patrick Parfrey. Taking him around the midriff, high on the body, and slinging himself into touch, and saves the try. And now the Italians are getting straight back, and they punt it right into the 22. There's a chase back for Nick Blevins. And they're just a meter out from their own line now. Ardron pops it back inside, and a good little ball too finds McGrory, hammers this into touch, and clears the Canadian line. Unbelievably, they're still to concede, and they lead this one 7 0. Man in the bin who returns and turning back on the field. That is a big turning point in this game. Italy unable to put over the seven points with a man in the bin. Now, here's the line out for B. He goes to the back with Simon Budd, drags it in. They look to their midfield with the back row is running, and Deep Budd goes through a big hole. Needs a two for the big second rower. Sets it up, Brayley to the left side again, holds it up in the middle of the park and they set it thus and hit the right, they go up for eventually, someone takes it on, it's Jane Haywood. Chopping left to right and all over the place, here's Ferrari, big pass left, the stamp on the left side from Bissigny, can't get away. Great defence again from Hassler, pick and go, little rubber kick through and it's easily dealt with, nice and simply from McRory. Well, the Canadians are under the pub here, but they are surviving. Only just, though. Nelson kicks long, gets us underway back to the halfway line, and here's Hayward. Swips it back to the left hand side, then finding some room out here for Lavotti. Gets support there nicely from Stain. Stain goes outside, and it's a good ball from Masiki. Back to Stain, and this will be the reply. Finally, it's a try to Italy. They're friend for about the last 25 minutes and finally they get some points on the board. Five points to seven and as we expected it is the big man in the back row, Brown Stain, who finishes the job. Their final pass was magical close to the sideline. And Nagri with the great finishing ball. Lavotti, there's the stain. And here it was the run from Vesigny. Then Nagri goes beautifully back inside. And the 
finishing touches are splendid from Brownstein. They needed that Italy. They really were struggling to get the ball over the line. A lot of this first half has been the Italians hammering away at the Canadian defence. It's held tight. But as we head towards the half-time buzzer, they will concede all seven. And now we are all tied up back again at seven all. Italy striking back into this game after a long, long period of possession. Now the question is, can Canada find another error? They got it early off the first kickoff of the game and underway they go again through Nelson. A great take two! Howard climbing high! And Canada might get the ball back, but Seeds holding on. So it is a penalty to Italy. But a disappointment there. The Canadians will quickly over that ball to help him out. Not quick enough, says the referee. And Tommaso Allen will hammer this away down to the 22. And another attacking chance here for the Six Nations cellar dwellers to throw in. Just outside the 22, and they've lost the ball. Big take in the front from Keys, the try scorer for Canada. Now they switch it out to midfield. Blevins going alone, tries to get a pass away, but he's eventually taken into touch. It was a long run from Nick Blevins, but eventually caught up on and running out of space, goes into touch pretty much straight across the field. Don't line out for Biggie if he can hit his man this time. It'll be very much appreciated for Italy. He hasn't done it. Connor Keys is all over this one. Back it goes. It'll be eventually kicked out from Nelson. Is it? No. It's been pulled back in. Great take. Campagnaro. As they hit the midfield runners and through the defence they go. Big chance for David sees the inside ball to Bud. That could be here for the lead. The, the Italians. Just short of the 22. This side. Again, Campagnaro gets it out to Bersigny. Running away from Hansa. What a time to score. Italy hit it at the break. And I'll take the lead in. 12-7. Kick to come. What happened there, Canada? Bersigny scores. It was all launched beautifully to this left-hand side. Excellent work from Campagnaro. Finding... His big man, Bersigny on the wing, still support from Allen. And even Simone Ferrari was trundling on alongside there as well. Just got on the outside of Jeff Hafsler, and that was enough to see him go all the way. Those two have had a real battle on that wing. Hafsler's won everything so far, but finally a little bit back for Bersigny. Big kick this for Tommaso Allen as the scoreline reads 12-7. The kick curling from the right-hand side and a beautiful conversion to Tommaso Allen has been in fine form in this World Cup so far and he gives his team a seven-point lead heading to the sheets now. at an Italy 14, Canada 7 lead at halftime. Well, an intriguing matchup here for Pool B, but it is the Italians who lead with all the territory on their side, and the Canadians may do a lot of defence. Despite all this, the line breaks still sit 4-3. to three. Canada doing a good job despite having very little ball, but the Italians struggling to get it over the line. The yellow card is going to be a huge turning point in this game. The question is, can the Canadians find a way back with this deficit at the break? We are set to go again, and it is Tommaso Allen at halfway, ready to kick off the second 40 minutes of this Paul B clash of the Rugby World Cup, and a great take two from Rumble as here come the Canadians. Into contact goes Nelson on halfway. Lucas Rumble with his first real part of this game, and here's Tyler Archon. Room out his left inside, can he find Vandermova? He might not need to, the chase is there, taken down as Archon for the pass away to DTH, Vandermova! Try to Canada and they strike straight after the break. What a time to hit! What a time to do the damage! Beautiful run here from the captain himself, Tyler Arjon. The chase was brilliant as well, and eventually he was dragged down by Bimbanuti. But the damage had been done. He drew in all defenders as well. Great work from Arjon. In the chase, Ben Benuti and Minotti 
had to chase the big number eight down eventually, but the support play, you saw it right from the start from Van der Merwe, and you knew if that pass could get away, that he would be gone. He is one of the greatest finishers, especially in Canadian rugby, but world rugby as well, as the conversion from Nelson is away. Wow, there's a surprise. The lead stays with Italy. So excited about the try, we almost missed the conversion. 14-12, now the score. Canada still trailing. Well, that will breathe a sigh of relief into the Italian camp as underway goes Allen once more. It's nicely claimed down there from Shepard as they keep it tight and they keep it alive. Eventually, Connor Keys goes straight to contact. 10 metre line. Do they play territory here, the Canadians, or do they run? They run very, very well. Lesage gets it outside to Hassler. Hassler, the great ball inside, and it's Lesage again in support, but turned over. Great work there at the back from Minossi. And the Italians get another chance at the pie. No, they don't, because they've lost it. Hardron, back to Hassler, down the right-hand wing. Jeff Hassler wants to beat. On the 22, again the Please. battle with Minossi is full flow as the Canadians look to strike to the heart yet again. You see Camp Agnaro is very slow getting back and retreating to his own defensive line. There's a bit of a one-off pass there from the Canadians. Now he's a run from the big number two, Eric Howard, who charges right to the 22. It's all the twos at the moment. Pick and go again from Lesage, and he just goes in the 22. One metre, but it's quick ball back. The there for Nelson, goes short to our John! Oh, high tackle in the 22. Questions now. What is Kennan to do? But it looks like it's going to be yellow card. One each way, regardless. Yellow card to Marcel Allen. That is huge. Such an influential player is going to the bin, and Canada are lining up the lead. Peter. Nelson with a chance to potentially be a Canadian hero. Steps up, strikes it well, strikes it over. Canada lead, 15-14, but we still have a long way to go on this one. 10 minutes without Tommaso Allen is going to be huge. And you see straight away, Minossi is taking over the kicking duties. And he kicks off deep and down to Biden's and they attack very much straight away. It's Ferrari down the left hand touchline. Support on field and it could be a runaway here for Peter Nelson. And the 22 he goes. The defense is coming up. Oh, another high tackle and another yellow card. Tempers flaring. This game escalates to another level. Italy lose Cullen Braley. And surely another easy three, no. 20 minutes on the clock and Canada decide with a two-man advantage that they will go for the gauntlet. Well, a try here will put this one surely to bed. 61 minutes gone. Howard to throw. Italy are in disarray. To the back it goes. And Larson pulls it in, now Ferrari goes out to Rumble, they come back inside eventually, it is taken down from Mike Shepard, and lost, it's lost in the breakdown, big chance for Hayward to get it away, and he does exactly that. Jaden Hayward just pummels it away, of course he takes over the fly half duties now, and Canada with the line outs, they go deep to the back and Rumble drags it in. And they use the back line yet again. Al White has gone, the chance of Blevins. Can he break away? Can he go out wide? He does! And it'll be a try to Hassan. No, he's gone for the grubber. Oh, what's he done? What's he done there? Jeff Hassler has just destroyed a big chance to put this game away. This kick goes dead and goal, and Italy surely will kick this out from their 22. Unsurprising. They take this option, but what is surprising is Hassler not backing his ability to go for that corner. Minossi kicks it away, running straight back at them as the Saints. They get it to Keys, who offloads beautifully the Ferrari. And the Canadians are all over this late stage of the game. Hassler, big pass out wide, here's a double chance for Nelson. One on one with Minossi, but a good tackle. He's taken out some great plays, has Minossi at the back. But the run there from Peter Nelson was far from the best. 
And Matteo Minossi was all over that. They get their man back from the bin. They get both of them back from the bin as well. So Cullen Braley is also back as well as Tommaso Allen. No nine, no ten. The last ten minutes is killer. Here he is, Braley, and he pops it back short to CC again. Now the game has changed. The Canadians are all over this matchup, but we see a little bit of a momentum shift now. The lead is still only one point. The Canadians Police. needed to score there. They haven't managed to do it. Stain goes back, and it's Biggie. He goes to a bit of a scamper, and they find room. Let's inside again. Miss Sydney once more, another chance to be a heartbreaker. He gets over a great tackle. One covering back there from McCrory. He saved the game for the Canadians. Now they break again. Big chance and Hessler's there. Into touch they go. Tommaso Allen, almost a hero from the villain. Well, Jeff Hassler may have ruined a chance or two just before, but he saved one there for the Canadians. And Howard will throw. This game has just flown by. We are two and a half minutes from full time. It's Canada come way out wide, left inside. The Sage going alone again. And up to the semi line, couldn't get it wide to Vandermeer and Co. It's the top for Blevins, who kicks long, a minute to play. It's he had the ball. It's their piece of magic. There is. Minosi does well. Pops it back inside. Eventually goes to ground in the hands of Braley. Stain will come and play scrum half. Looks short side, which is a little bit of a dangerous play. Italy don't get on the ball very quickly. And Canada can turn this over. They've got it back. It's quickly away. And it'll be into touch from Nelson. Is it? No. It's Stain in. They run back. But they can't save it. Canada win. Big upset. Huge upset on day seven. Canada over Italy. And Paul B now is thrust into disarray. What a game. What a finish. Put into a stalemate by Canadian domination and a double yellow card for the Italians. How this game played out is freakish to watch. One would have thought when Nelson's kick went wide, that might be the last chance for the Canadians. But this game finished with such a twist they saw a Nelson penalty goal go over. And then, of course, the two yellow cards, one of them going to Tommaso Allen first, and then Cullen Braley getting the second. They see them down to 13 men for a good portion of that 10 minutes, both going off within a minute or two of each other. Unbelievable contest between Italy and Canada ends 14-15 Canada with the World Cup win. Two tries each was Brown Stain and Guglio Bissigny with one of Peaks Tommaso Allen converting both of those tries. For the Canadians, it was Connor Keys and of course DTH Vander Merva. He is a freak of a player on the left wing and continues to impress World Cup after World Cup. The kick was missed from Peter Nelson, but he got one from two. But more importantly, he nailed the penalty goal that started the Italian collapse. Two yellow cards after that as well. That was a huge turning point in this matchup. Well, amazingly, after being dominated at half time, the Canadians have struck back, leading opposition and territory, line breaks and everything after Italy fell apart, giving away all sorts of penalties and cards. They just couldn't get their head in the game that second 40 minutes. Canada did enough, just enough, to see it through at the very, very end, winning by a solitary single solo point, 15-14. That was a breathtaking matchup out of Pool B. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed this exciting fixture from the Rugby World Cup day number seven. I'll be, of course, back not tomorrow because tomorrow they have no games on. So we're back for day eight the following day, and we have a lot of matches still to come following that as well. So make sure to tune in every single day. We've got our daily predictions going up on BehindThePost.com. Go check those out the night before the games. And, of course, matches here every day and the streams while the matches are going on. So if you can't see a match, come and check out the streams. Say hi, have a bit of a rugby chat, and keep up to date with what is going on as I keep the scoreboard sticking over, the try scorers, the point scorers, everything intact for you to see how the game is going. But that is it for me today. Thank you for tuning and watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.